Hi everyone, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on how to disband negative atmospheres through deeper worship that can invoke the presence of God. This video will bless you in no small way. Kindly do well to share, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Let me teach you how to neutralize negative atmospheres. Introduce an atmosphere of deep, heartfelt, presence-carrying worship. Not senseless songs that don't carry any atmosphere. There are songs that were written by people who were just ambitious. I'm talking of atmospheres that carry fire and the power that can change. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Had a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. I'm a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. When you set that atmosphere, let me tell you what begins to happen. The power of the atmosphere for worship, because you see, the way God works is that whatever dimension of him he wants you to experience, he through the ministry of the Holy Spirit will put it in your heart to begin to sing that dimension. He becomes what you are saying. Worship and singing is a protocol for experiencing him. It's a come before him with singing. So if he wants to move as a mighty God, the Holy Spirit, do you know, there are times that songs come as weapons, not as music. Are we together? There are certain things called songs of deliverance. You, they are not special numbers. That is the weapon that God has given you for that victory. Have you woken up one morning and you find out it can be the line of a song and you will keep singing it for days? Can I tell you, whenever you have that prompting, don't stop keep singing that song in that song you are singing it may not make sense to anybody but there is victory being better in it oh, oh. let me tell you this when god really wants to give you victory there are times that a grace will come on you and you will do night vigil of worship not just prayer you will just set the atmosphere and in that in that atmosphere it's like something is boiling in the spirit when you really have warfare it is not only prayer you do the atmosphere you want the presence of God to come and to rest and tabernacle with you you need to master the art of creating that atmosphere if you don't know how to sing people have already done the singing for you go through the labor of creating that atmosphere Alanda Skalibra Gadusia. 
let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth listen i was caught up in the realm of the spirit many years ago and this is where i had this song i didn't write it it was a song that came by revelation that that shekinah it is the desire of god that that glory blankets the nations from city to city and from continent to continent. Let it cover all. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. You see, let me tell you something with worship worship can take away falsehood from you in prayer because there are times you come to god with all kinds of human calculations and in worship just takes you over there are times that your emotions are so connected to what you are doing you are no longer conscious of what i wore what i bought you don't know when you can whether it's to lie down or roll before him worship purifies your desire i do not know one great man who truly walks in the miraculous and in signs and wonders who ignores this mystery of heartfelt worship blessed is he who comes in the name of our God just help us under the anointing blessed is he who comes in the name of our God there are times you go to prepare a meal can even be similar and two hours down the line you are still in the kitchen when you see the Holy Spirit move like this it's a communication of many things for many people it's an indication that seasons are opening are we together yes seasons the weak is living for the strong see that the less anointed is living for another dimension. Number two, when you see extended periods of worship in the presence of God like this, there are impartations happening. Impartations are not just anointings, they are answers. answers. So in that worship, the Bible says, be still and then you will know. You may not hear a rema, but an anointing is bringing an answer. It's not the one you've always received. Number three, in these kinds of atmospheres, deliverances, deliverances. You don't have to fall and shout and cough. In these atmospheres, convictions are strengthened. Suddenly a worship song is rising and you just stand and you're just thinking and saying, my life, my life. Will it continue this way, prayerlessness? Will it continue this way, no commitment to God? and whilst the worship you're not hearing anything directly but the holy ghost is speaking to your spirit man and you can capture the impulses of the spirit so when when there are extended periods of worship like this you must understand that the holy spirit is doing something specifically now it is good to be excellent and organized we believe in excellence you know that but then i think the challenge sometimes is that there is too much interruption because sometimes we can be so organized we are more conscious of our ego and the rudiments of things you see those who are like that cannot get the best of the holy spirit because his character is the wind is that true the Bible says the wind blow it where it listeth. You cannot tell from whence it's coming or where it is going. He says such is the character, is the nature. It's not that the one who is led by the Spirit is disorganized, but that the Holy Spirit sustains an ability to navigate you at will and can be able to alter whatever according to God's divine purposes. Learn it. Learn it.
mean it. Don't get to a point where you box the Holy Spirit and say you've moved like this. No, sir. No, sir. That's the reason why we never, never experience certain superior dimensions of it. I tell you, this worship, I can, I, I just wish that I was alone in my secret place and I can sing like this and worship till morning. Not prayer. I'm not talking of praying. Many things should happen in the secret place. If the only thing you do in the secret place is praying in tongues, then there is a lot you are missing. Let me tell you, praying in tongues is very important. But you see, the Holy Spirit must be the governor and the Lord of your secret place. There are times you go to the secret place and for one hour you cannot say a word. You just sit down, yet you are communicating. Because you see, in the realm of the Spirit, your mouth is not the only instrument of communication. There can be a spirit communication happening, yet your mouth is not saying anything. Your mind may even be unfruitful to that experience. But after that secret place, you know that you left with something. It's like an intercourse. Learn it. This is how to be spiritual. It is not longevity in the Christian environment that makes people mature. It is their ability to have train their spirits to to train their sensitivity to be able to understand the things that the holy spirit is doing if all that the holy ghost wants us to do tonight is to just sing and sing and worship that's what we do he is the governor he is the one who is responsible for the transformation he knows what menu befits what situation there are people the situation in your life right now sincerely speaking you don't need a sermon you need a song it's only a song that has the capacity to minister to you are we together when you've been beaten by life you've prayed you've fasted sometimes he captures his thoughts in a song and you may like all the songs that we sang here you may not remember anything but there is a line that's where the anointing is the anointing may not be on all the song it may just be on a line a phrase a clause a sentence part of it and you keep singing it till your spirit soaks that anointing are we together you must understand this is how people are edified you see because in a place like this there are people inside outside are we together now and everybody has his needs as a man of god you don't just come with a redumented understanding you see people will keep looking at you but very soon your church will go dry because the truth is that the holy spirit it, the operation of the Holy Spirit, his omnipresence is a mystery. Such that everybody can leave a meeting and say, you were talking to me. Yet, the experiences were different. For many people, half of your edification for tonight's meeting has happened in this worship. If we did not capture this moment of worship, there is something that God intended for you tonight that you would not have received. Let's learn to be spiritual. Let's learn to be spiritual. Let's learn organization is good, but carnality is driving the fullness of the Holy Spirit from our lives, from our meetings, because of regimented activities. Organization is good. But brothers and sisters, we are talking about the spirit of the living God. The Holy Spirit is not an angel. When he comes, you step back. I think he's pride to resist the Holy Spirit. I think he's sin to resist the Holy Spirit. Even if it is for the sake of the breakthrough of one person, let's let him do it. You hear people shouting, it's not a proof that a man is anointed, it's a proof that God is working. Are we together now? You left your house and you came and the Spirit of God is working. The angels of God that excel in strength, they are working, reading the hearts of men like pages of books. Oh, this one is in need of a healing. Ah, uh, how do we communicate the healing? Okay, there is somewhere in the message where we'll come and they leave you and they go to someone. This person is depressed. At this level of depression, you will not even hear anything. So he comes back to the preacher and says, raise a song because there is somebody who is too depressed to start hearing any rema. No matter what you say, it will not bless him. It is in that song. You find out that everyone may be tired, but only two people are crying. That song was for them. This is called the ministry of the Spirit. So, the Holy Ghost is ministry. You see that? 
it's not it's not charismatism it's not an, an a, a man of god showing his anointed uh -uh. it's the holy spirit this is the only way you bless people L listen let me tell you it's not just by the excellency of speech it's by allowing the holy spirit you must give him right of way i've said it you can fake power you can't fake relationship you can't fake the secret place we must have the ears that hear and the eyes that see as a preacher as a man of god you are standing here as a servant in partnership with the holy spirit to minister to the needs of people men of god let's never forget that this whole thing is about the people if there are 90 people here who are sick even if i'm teaching on relationship the healing anointing will start flowing you see that because the holy ghost knows 90 people cannot come sick and go just because I planned to. No, 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 no. The Holy Ghost will say, I know we prepare for this, but the hunger of my people is and their faith compelling that dimension of their knowledge. And a wise man of God will be able to say, Even so, come, the spirit and the bride, come, 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 Lord Jesus someone traveled far to come and get an anointing come lord jesus someone left the hospital with their medical bills to come come lord jesus so after a meeting like this you find out that as people are going home everybody leaves with a testimony or that if you teach religiously a time will come where only a few people a few people not more than 10 out of thousands of people who will be saved let me tell you what members do they love you, but the truth is that they are not being changed. And they will, they may not stop coming, but their faith dies. When they come, they don't expect transformation. They, they will not even invite anybody because they know it's an embarrassment. Or will I tell this visitor now? Come for Koinonia and the visitor says, it's half of the service already. I've not been blessed. My depression is still there. The headache is pounding me. I thought you said the Holy Spirit is here. If you are in ministry or God is calling you into ministry here, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, pay the price before you come and hold the mic. Give the people something. Let every meeting be an encounter. An encounter. From the worship. That's why we pray. That's why we prepare for every meeting as if it's the last. Because you don't know whose destiny. Someone may visit Koinonia now once and may not have the privilege to come again. So he will live with his perception. There's no excuse. If you're a pastor here, make sure your workers are spiritual. I've said it, skill is good. But spirituality precedes skill. You see him playing this thing. Someone can sit down and be playing the keyboard. And what he's playing is music. And alter what the Holy Spirit is doing. Another person can sit on the drums and just be playing whatever he wants to do. Another person can hold the mic here and stand to sing and just be twisting your tongue. And the people know they are not getting blessed. Excellence is only useful when spirituality is intact. Then you can communicate. It's the ministry of the Spirit. Let the weight of your glory let it cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let this truth that brings healing let it flow. blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you